Oh, I don't have any NOS. Oh. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. Today, I'm back with the crew too. And uh, that's because we have a new DLC that has just been released. And they've added two cards into my inventory. I'm pretty sure one of them is this Aerial Nomad. Kind of cool. And then also, we have a nice hoverboard here. So this is the Gator Rush uh, DLC that has come out for this game with an update as well that will change or has added a bunch of things to the game. I'll show you guys what that is right now. So let me zoom out really quick. We have some new events. We have some new events. Uh, we have some new like normal races that we can do. There's some air races. There's, there's just a bunch of new events. And there's also another difficulty to these events. So as you can see here, uh, actually, we'll just go to one of them that we've already done. So one of the normal ones that we've done in the past and that I used to do all the time um, this, right? The strip west. Is it west? Which one is, is the one that I used to do all the time? So let's have a look and try to see if I can find that one. Is it north? I'm pretty sure. Nah, it has to be the one that I've done. So south, I think, is the one that I've done all the time. Yeah, so I think the south one, right, is the one that I've done all the time. If I change the difficulty, I can change it. So I can have ace. Is this the one? They might have changed the... I might have changed the money, or maybe I'm just I'm just tripping right now. I have no idea. Like I'm pretty sure the south one is the one that I've done all the time, and uh, they've changed the money for it, so you don't get as much money as before. However, there is a new difficulty for it, and uh, it's called Ace, and that means that we get some better rewards for that. And uh, speaking of rewards, they ended up changing it so you can actually get golden or yellow, I guess, rewards which are legendary. So them being, I'm pretty sure that you get, um. You get parts that have three perks on them, if I remember correctly. I think I think that's what the deal is. Anyway, um, I have a bunch of good, I think, parts for this bike that are already on it. Uh, I can't check here for some reason, so, alright, anyway. But the parts that are already on it, they should increase my loot drop. Um, not like the percentage of, not, not, not like the actual type of drop, that, or like, I, I, it is the type of drop that I'm gonna get and not the amount of drops that I'm gonna get. I'm trying to explain myself here, it's just weird. Anyway, so doing this race, very, very easy race. This is pretty much what people use to use to level uh, to level up pretty quickly. Uh, there's also another race that you can do. Uh, it's a lot longer than this one, but um, it is technically, depending on how fast you do it, they're very, very similar in time. Um, this one obviously pays less now because they changed that. Uh, it used to pay more. I think it used to pay 19,000 or 18,000 something um, for for the, the hard difficulty. Now this is on ace difficulty and it pays 18,000 so they've changed the rewards for this race because people used to grind it all the time which is fine. I'm perfectly happy with that. They decide to patch a few things and, and change a few things and I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, but I haven't played this game properly in a while and I haven't actually like done much on this game as you guys have seen on the channel. There's not really a lot of stuff to do on it. Once you finish it, that's it. But now that they've added new races and things like that I wish that uh, it would have come a little bit sooner because Forza Horizon 4 is dropping literally tomorrow or tonight, I guess, and I will be playing a lot of that game. So um, I will be coming back to The Crew 2 as well every now and then just to play it because I kind of want to see what this DLC is all about and I will make videos on it. But uh, it's it's just a, such an unfortunate time for them to release this. I mean, I don't know if it was strategic to release it at a specific time, but obviously um, at the end of every single month, they are releasing two new vehicles every single time. Um, so, oh my god, <laughs> every single month, at the end of every month, they are releasing two new vehicles, so maybe, maybe it's not the way, maybe it's not just Forza Horizon being released that they decided to release this, uh, this update because of that, maybe it's just because of the, um, of the vehicles that they release every single month. Can I stop nose diving into the ground, please? I really want to see if I can get some, some nice perks for this, so uh, it's not really the best of times, especially after I crash, so 155 I got for this. Um, and let's just see what sort of prizes I get. Now, there you go. There's our cash. 18,900. I don't think I have anything for this to improve. Oh, okay. So we just get pinks now, I guess, for this event. Is that like the minimum thing that you get? Is it just pinks? That'd be kind of interesting. So if I go and check them out, uh, I'll get to show you guys. So I don't really have any pinks. Well, I do have a few pinks here. Um, there are a few of them. I don't know. Maybe I put them on a different car. I definitely put them on a different car because these are definitely not the the right the right parts for this bike. They're on they're on a different car or a different bike or something that I ended up using. Either way, um, ooh, a fix. 
Wait, what's that? So if I do this... Oh, that's sick! Okay! Well, it shows you what improves on the thing. Brings my... Uh... Oh, that's great! I like that, actually. Instead of you pressing this to show the details of it, you just press this. That's much easier. To be in that menu. Alright, cool. Cool, I like that. I like that little feature. That's definitely new in the game. That was never a thing before. It shows you what's being improved or what's going down. Or, like, what's being reduced and what's being improved on it. Which is great. Um, I like that. I like the little feature. That's that's pretty cool. Well, I still haven't gotten any golden things, I guess. Um, maybe if I do a different event. Maybe we try some something new. How about I use... Um, see, because this is a brand new event, right? And obviously I can't change the difficulty of it because I haven't actually done it. But this this is a hypercar event, first of all. Uh, it should take 2 minutes and 59 seconds is what a person got there. Um, wait, 305? Is that the fastest? Oh, okay, okay. So that's the fastest, I guess, hypercar that I have right now. It's at level 305. Um, I want to do... I want to do one of the... Um, one of the events that involves a hovercraft. So I can use our new hovercraft. Let's have a look here. Because I already have one. I already have one of the hovercrafts that they gave me. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Nice. I was a bit confused. I was like, why is it not unlocked? And then I remembered that I had to go to one of these places. Okay. Cool. 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 Well, where's the hovercrafts? Where where are they lined up? Because I want to see. They're, oh, there they are. Right here. Look at that. Nice. Well, I already have one, so that's the thing. Uh, forgot to select. Like, I already own this. And it looks pretty cool, I guess. Uh, the armored one. Um, it's at level 42. All these are a little bit lower. This one's... <laughs> this one looks a bit fast. Which is kind of cool, but I don't really know if I should buy another one. I mean, is, is there a reason for me to buy another one? I mean, I already got one for free. And it's this one right here. Uh, I, d I definitely don't think that this is the old one. Wait, what's the one that you get? Like, they, they give you one at the at the very end, right? Uh, so if I go into this and go to my vehicles, I should have one that they've given me already, uh, which is this one, right? The XT3, the Proto XT3. So this is the hovercraft that they give you after you finish the whole thing, and you can see the amount of distance I've driven on it. That's actually kind of cool. It tells you uh, now as well the amount of distance that you've driven on uh, or with vehicles. So this is the one that they gave me, obviously, and <laughs> I don't have any performance bars for it at all. Uh, so we definitely don't need to buy one, uh, but now we have our races available, and I kind of want to try one. I kind of want to try a hovercraft event. Uh, so here we go. There's a few here. Uh, there's one right here that I can see uh, instantly. There's also another event up here, which is... What is this? Another... Si uh, oh, okay. Another live extreme series event. So that's kind of cool. I'll get to that as well. Uh, if I do this one... I mean, obviously, I need to get some parts for this, so let's just go ahead and drop to this, to this place. Uh, and let's have a look what a hovercraft race is looking like. Obviously, I'll end up using this one. Yeah, nice. Oh, it feels weird to drive. It feels kind of weird to drive. I wonder how fast this thing actually is. Come on, open the gates. Oh my god, I forgot I turned off all the audio for people talking. Okay, is this possible in real life? I don't think it is. Okay, can you stop please? There we go. Let's just bump it to everyone. <laughs> this is so weird to drive. Such a weird thing to drive. Alright, let's go. Oh, hello. Bump. Oh my god, I just sent that dude off. Alright, so far it's, it's not bad. Do I need to break for any of these? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> what is happening? I don't know how to drive these. It feels weird to drive, it's just slides everywhere. How am I supposed to control this? I don't know how I'm supposed to control these. Oh my god, he's landed on me. Okay. So I just have to turn in a little bit sharper, I guess. That's the only way to... That's the only way to take sharper corners, I guess. It's just to legit just turn in sharper. There's no braking or anything. 
I mean, I am on air, so I don't know how I'm expected to break. <laughs> Just bumping into people. Okay. Oh, he's gone. Turn, please. Oh my god! What is happening? Please. This is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. Move! Get out of my way! Oh, I don't have any NOS. Oh. <laughs> this is jokes. This is just funny. Oh my god. This is pure jokes right now. to wait for us to come back a little bit before oh my god when I get bumped I just go flying so I need to somehow position myself so people hit me and then I just go flying oh turn in a bit more how are these people going faster than me I don't understand okay turn 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 very tight very tight that's it that's it bump me okay no slowly slowly so no please no like, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I can't turn. I can't slow down or do anything. <laughs> this is a joke. This is an absolute joke right now. Get out of my way. I'm gonna try my best to concentrate so I don't crash or do anything stupid, but it's so difficult. I have to figure out a way to drive these properly though, because I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Because there's no way, if I get hit and pushed out of the way, there's no way of me like slowing down or stopping. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. There's no chance of me slowing down or stopping because I'm literally just on air. I'm hovering, hence the name Hovercraft. I'm hovering over over the terrain, over the water, over the dirt. Turn more, please. Oh my god. I'm gonna end up losing this, just because I can't drive. I can't turn. <laughs> this is a joke. This is a joke race. You're going backwards! What am I supposed to do? Alright, go, go. My chance. Right here. My chance. Just, just, what, what am I doing? <laughs> Who thought this was a good idea? Who thought the hovercrafts were a good idea? This is an absolute joke. What? <laughs> what am I supposed to do here in this scenario? Explain to me, game. Come on, help me out. Oh my god! I get this thing, right? Where I go sideways to slow down or to take a corner, right? I go even more sideways. I understand that. But if I get bumped, it's all over for me. There's like, I tried to slow down so I can take these corners, right? But then if someone comes from behind right now, if I get bumped right now, I'm gone. I'm just dead. You know what I mean? So... As careful as I have to be, I have to try not... Not to steer and slow down too much, or else I get absolutely demolished. So careful, 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 careful. Turn in, turn in, turn in. Nice, nice. Somehow I'm doing this. I'm staying ahead somehow. There we go. I'm pulling ahead now. I just... I needed to practice, alright? I, need, I needed one run. Or maybe two races. I've had two attempts at this, technically. I just needed to figure out a way to do this. 
It's so awkward and weird to drive. Again, you just turn into the corner more if you want to slow down and take the corner correctly. That's it. There's no braking or anything involved. Maybe if you want to let go of gas, cool. But I don't see it doing anything for you. You just, again, just sort of turn into a corner. And that's it. There you go. Boom. Took that corner. It's just... It's, it feels weird to drive something like this. You know what it feels like, actually? It feels exactly like... Break to drifting in Need for Speed. It feels exactly like that. You turn, like, more into the corner if you want to drift further. Or get more angle into the corner. It just... It's just funny. It just feels really, really funny to drive. Very weird. Very, very weird. So you just turn in more and more. That's it. There we go. Boom. Look at that. Very far ahead of everyone now. Oh, well, I say very far ahead. I. Oh no. Oh no, I crashed. This gives them a chance to catch up. And you know when they catch up, they just crash into me and I'm dead. So careful here. I can hear them very close to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't mess this up, don't mess this up, don't mess this up. They're very close to me. I can see their headlights and everything. They're very, very close. That's it, though. That is the finish line right here. <laughs> that was so weird to drive. So, so awkward to drive. Alright, give me some parts for the hovercraft. That was interesting. That was very, very interesting. It's just... Just a weird thing. Alright. Add some parts. Boom. Boom. And boom. Alright. Now. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we've done that one. It it feels a little bit weird. Wait, how many points are we going to get now, though, if I decide to go at it again? Wait, I could have just checked here. I'm stupid. Uh, so we go activities. We go to this. Uh, wait, it's not there. It's in the off-road bit. There's our hovercraft. Uh, so I've done this one. If I change the difficulty, I get 19,000 for that. And if I change the difficulty again, obviously I can't, because or it won't show me. But, I mean, is there any events, right? Let's just try one of these. So, any events that I've done. Um, let's go back one more. You got the street racing, because I've done most of these. Uh, so this one, again, is the one that won't give me more points. This one I've done. Okay, there we go. So the highest paid thing that I can get is 22,000, right? If I do this event here uh, on the ace difficulty... And it seems like it's an all it's an all right event. World record is a 141, so I feel like it should be kind of easy to do. Again, this one here, 18,000 to get that done. Um, this is a this is a really good event to get money out of. By the way, the Harley da uh, Harley Davidson event. Um, it does require you to have a specific vehicle, but it does pay quite a lot. This one as well, downtown LA East. Wait a second, why does this pay so much? It's a street race. It's about three minutes long to do it, and it gives you quite a decent amount of money for for that. That's kind of cool. There's two of these. There's LA East, and then there's this one here as well. The Global or the Coral Gables. Okay, cool. So there's there's a few events to be able to pretty much grind out for money, which is what I'm trying to to figure out what's the best way to get money in this game. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Maybe this will be kind of interesting. You get a lot of a uh, a lot of a. Um, a lot of followers for it as well, if you do this event. I mean, obviously, it's the longest event out of all these lot, but, I mean, it feels kind of kind of cool to do. Hypercar events as well. Um, there's one here, which is a Detroit event. Again, it's 11 minutes long, though, so this one's even longer than the other thing. This one, though, New York. It's 25 minutes long, right? I've done this one a couple times, I think. Uh, it's 25 minutes long, and right now, it seems like the best one to do, if you think about it, right? You do It takes 25 minutes, which technically takes... Uh, just a little bit longer than this, but the payout is more than twice as much. 
You get what I mean? So the New York event on a hypercar just feels like the, the best one to do. I've done that one a couple of times. I've done this one as well a couple of times. Um, and it pays 94,000 if you do it on ace. And the world record is six minutes. So anything similar to six minutes for an event is pretty damn good. So yeah, there's a lot of different events that you can actually try to do on uh, or with these cars, with these hypercars and stuff like that. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I just wanted to show you guys some of the new things that they've added into the game. Uh, I will be back if you guys want to see more of the crew too, especially the Gator Rush DLC and all of the stuff that's in it. Maybe some more events and all that sort of stuff. I'll be definitely down to doing them. I'm going to go try grind a few races, try to see what's the best way to earn money in this game. Um, I'll try to leave all of the brand new races so I can do them on video if you guys want to see that. Uh, then don't forget to like this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos on the channel. And I will see you guys next time with another video. Goodbye.